But what we're going to play for you guys now, you don't get to hear it on acoustic, acoustic guitar very often. But, uh, in fact, let's talk a little about it. I'm going to play Frankenstein. But, uh, but before we play it, I want to tell you a little about that song. Uh, Edgar Winter was always Johnny's younger brother. And uh, he was, a, a, you know, a, a great player and a great musician. But in some ways, as kids, he was always the little brother. And so he had to have something to call his own. And they were both albinos, so he couldn't, couldn't even claim that. <laughs> so he had to have some. So um, Johnny would get him up to play. Well, I got my little brother here. I'm going to get him up to play. And they always had something. He had to have something to play. So Edgar wrote this song, and it was called The Double Drum Solo. The Double Drum Solo was what the song was called. So every time Johnny get Edgar up to play, he'd say, Edgar, come on up here, play the double drum solo. And Edgar would get up and he'd play this song where he got to play saxophone, he got to play timbali, he got to play drums. He got to do a little of everything, some keyboards, which he did. He, he played them all really well, too. And so that was the song. So when we went in to do the first uh, Edgar Winter album uh, um, that I did, the, me and the engineer Bill Simzik uh, both looked at each other and said, we got to have that song on there, that double drum solo song. That's fabulous. So we recorded the song, put it on there, and all of a sudden we started uh, hearing from the record company, we're not sure if that song fits into the kind of rock format that uh, you guys have created here. So we don't think that song should be on the record. That's, that's right. There you go. You know, and that really gives you a great insight into record companies, the way they think and stuff. So uh, Bill Simzik and I, brave people that we were, we looked back at the record company and said, you're kidding me. We, that's, our, that's our favorite song in the whole record. <laughs> that's the one we're, we're looking forward to recording, and, and we're going to have a good time doing it. And no matter what you say, we're going to go ahead and do it. It's going to be on the record. <laughs> So we recorded this, the song called The Double Drum Solo, and like Edgar, Edgar likes to do it, he's very extravagant musically, and he likes to do everything into abundance, so the song ended up being about 20 minutes long. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, once again we had an issue, that's a little bit long, uh, we didn't actually, we didn't, even, we didn't even figure it would be a single, but <clears throat> even getting it on the record, 20 minutes, that's a whole side of the album. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we said, yeah, editing is what we need. Well, in those days, we were recording on two-inch tape. Two inches of width of analog tape. That's a big piece of tape going around that machine. So in order to edit it, you literally, it was uh, what we have today. You had to take out a grease pencil. You had to find the spot on that two inch long piece of tape where you thought that edit should be. You'd put a big long mark on it and then you'd lay it on this guard, it was called a tape guard. You'd lay it down there and you'd get out a brand new razor blade. <laughs> Every time you made a cut you'd get a brand new razor blade because you didn't want to screw up. Two inches of tape, the whole thing's there. You don't want to screw up. And either picking the right spot or cutting that tape, that slice has to be perfect. And so we started editing. <clears throat> and we edited every section. If you remember, Frankenstein has quite a few sections in it. And every section that came around, we would cut that baby in half. Just half the whole thing. Half, 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 all the way through the song. <clears throat> And all of a sudden, we played it and went, hey, this is pretty cool, but it's not short enough. <laughs> so we had to go back. Let's rethink all these parts that were cut in half will now be cut in half again. So we went back, and we put more cuts and new spots and new places, and we cut this thing. So when we watched the final version go past, when you were actually sitting there next to the tape machine, you would see this black tape, I mean the black recording tape, 
but you would see all these white pieces of adhesive tape going past. One, there's another, then there comes another, then there comes another. And I think I looked up at Edgar and said, Edgar, this thing should be called the Frankenstein monster. There's so many cuts on it. And Edgar looked back and said, maybe Frankenstein. Not the monster. <laughs> So, everything's still working. In a laboratory once upon a time, at work was a doctor named Frankenstein. <laughs>
the story of Frankenstein. <laughs> that's fun to play every time. Every time, that's always fun.